we're going to go through how Colorado became a sanctuary state and what has changed over the years to make it as radical as it is today. A lot of people have these cities like Denver, Aurora, Lakewood, all these other cities confused. Uh, the whole state is actually a sanctuary state, so it doesn't really matter the individual city and county as much. And here is how that happened. So in 2013, uh, a bill was banned. So there was a bill signed in 2006 that essentially banned Colorado from having the ability Ability to come a to become a sanctuary state so in 2013 they repealed that so that's really all they did was repeal it setting up this stage uh, for future legislation to become sanctuary and in 2019 this is where it was signed that prevents local law enforcement to participate with ice so this is where you're seeing where people are getting arrested multiple times and ice is not being notified it's because of stuff like this and you can see also in 2020 they made it illegal for any ICE agents to enter a courthouse. So this could be like I would guess like immigration court things like this. They can't even enter the courthouse. And if you read the bottom of that 2021 is when it starts getting really interesting because this is after we had surges at the border. So after we had all of these people, record numbers hitting the border is when they started giving benefits to illegal immigrants. You can see uh, 2021 SB 21199 provides state benefits to illegal immigrants. Um, it made available state benefits, including dental care, mental health counseling, and family services. SB 211054, also 2021, uh, signed and passed to allow illegal aliens to get housing assistance. Um, also 2021, SB 21077 allowed professional credentialing for uh, illegal immigrants. So this means hairdressing, massage therapy, tattooing, and 2021 you can read the rest so uh not only were all these provisions these started around 2013 to make it harder for local law enforcement to contact ICE officials in 2021 they started passing legislation to give taxpayer funded benefits to people that are here illegally knowing full well that we have record numbers coming over our border and into the state I found that really 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 interesting